Good morning, everyone. It's March 28th, and we got the goats broke the two wires. We're improving. As you can see here, they're checking her all out. Seeing what kind of perimeter they got for fence here. I gave them a new bale, and uh, I got a little <laughs> ring around it so they don't completely eat the whole thing and just tromp it in the ground so that's the whole plan there and I rolled a bunch out for I suppose maybe a day or two that should last and then I'll just undo the poly wire that I got right there and give them some more that way it saves on the hay and still got them out here on the land and we're putting carbon down where it belongs it's a win-win here I'll turn the camera around and show you a little bit better yeah I just put up two wires around the bale here and then I just ran the wire high off of that so they can walk underneath the fence over there and then ran it up to the building where I got the hot wire. Seems to work so far. I was going to try it without the hot wire there but then I had a couple instigator goats circling here wondering how can I get in on that bale. So never trust a goat. That's the lesson learned today. This is at my mother-in-law's the pasture is a little bit on the overgray side, I would say. And uh, so that's another reason why we're getting this out here. Put the carbon down, cover up some of this bare soil here. If you put your fingers down, you should be able to touch a thatch layer and you put your fingers down here and you just touch bare soil. So we're gonna try to get some carbon back down here. Got a few gullies and ditches starting in here and stuff so we're gonna try to solve that the pond down there also has a big ditch starting on the overflow and that spot up there we hit that earlier this winter we put a bale up around that big gully there so we got two bales down there but then the goats started kidding so we brought them back to the buildings now they're pretty much done kidding so i think it's about time we start exploring here but just like anything else, them goats prefer grazing over bales. They're hitting all the whatever's left grass from the cattle there that they didn't eat. I think most of them big tall grass spots have manure piles in them, so <laughs> that's about all that's left. So yeah, pretty neat, pretty exciting. I'm excited anyways. I don't know about you guys, but it's going to be a long journey this summer and it's going to be interesting to see what these guys can clean up for us. So we'll keep bringing these videos to you and if you guys all hit that subscribe button, we'll be bringing more of these to you. So take care and everyone have a good spring and happy grazing.